Okay, hello and welcome to another video. This one is my flip through for September. It's going to be a little bit shorter than most videos would normally be, just because um, I don't have as much stuff for September as I usually would. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that's because my planner got stolen, so I had to kind of start again. Luckily, some amazing people on the Facebook group sent me some bits and pieces, so I have made do with what they sent me, and I've got a planner that's just as good as the one I had that was stolen. Um, so this month I changed the discs um, to put my plans together. Um, I do actually really like it, it means it fits in my bag, it's much smaller. Um, the only drawback is it takes a long time to hole punch all the pages, um, but I really like it. I just put some washing tape down here um, because the lady that sent me the cover had already punched it and I just punched it different, but that's fine, it just covers it up. Um, I always laminate my front cover, um, especially now I'm doing it like this because it means it's a bit tougher. Um, so I've got a little calendar at the front. And then, so I had my September goals first and I was sent some lovely little puffy stickers, um, which worked really well. And some die cuts and things. Um, again, you can see where they were punched slightly different, but it's okay because you can barely see it. Um, and how is that going? Yeah, it's not too bad, I'm kind of doing those goals apart from the exercising one. <laughs> um, so then I have my month at a glance. There's usually, usually a lot more on this page because um, I, I like to fill it up and stick lots of stuff on it. Um, but because I didn't have these pages until about the 16th, I wasn't really able to do that um, until quite late. But I still love it because it's got all the artwork on it, it's got a little owl and little things on it that I just think it's really pretty. <clears throat> so this is the month that I finally sort of found a good use for this page. I've always struggled with quite what to do with it and it makes sense to use it for like forward planning. So I just section off the rest of this year um, and then I have things next year that I want to do um, or even if they're not definite things they're just ideas or the one idea and I might put other ideas on because like here for example university isn't necessarily a definite thing um, so I will start putting other things on it I've done it more for like, October because I've got the full planner <clears throat> um, so these pages I always just use more for decoration and anything um, just with little stickers and stamps and die cuts and things just to make it pretty um, so I didn't really use it much that week I always do my food plan on the back and in one of the sets of stickers that I was sent I had these little hydrate stickers which I really like to use um, and they're really cute. They're smaller than I thought they would be though, which is fine. Um, here I've just made a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a little tab thing uh, where I just write any shopping that I need to get for my food plan. Although mince pies was not on there, um, but it's, it's in there anyway. Um, then again this week, I haven't actually finished, it was only Sunday yesterday, um, so I haven't actually really finished going back over and sticking anything in, um, but I did go to the zoo that day. And again my meal plan on the back, which obviously I didn't stick to. Um, then I've got, um, so I only put a couple of weeks in, I made this into a sort of a dream catcher thing, I saw that with someone on Facebook and I thought it was a good idea. Um, then this page I've made uh, my YouTube ideas, uh, which I had a page like this, the Weather Planner, so I basically just rewrote it in here and it gives me an idea when I need to make videos and things. Um, so then I use that page for, I'm just going to skip it over, uh, this page I always used for uh, journaling I suppose. Um, I tend to forget about it until the end of the week and I'll go back and write across it in a minute. Um, but on here I always put what the planner challenge is, even though I don't always do it. Um, I always write that and sometimes I write an idea of what I'm going to do for each one. Um, I've also written a couple of things I need to do, but mostly that goes to my daily to do at the back. I just very quickly skipped this page. Um, so I have another goal, but I've done it as a currently this month. Um, things I'm watching, reading, listening, and trying to learn. <laughs> Um, you can see I still didn't do exercise, and I just have a budget tracker on that page. 
and then at the back here is the daily to-do pages um, again like I, I said before I don't find I use them that much anymore um, so what I started to do is stop hole punching them and keeping them separate and just hole punching them as and when I need them and putting them into the planner then and then that means I've just got spare pages for some point in the future if I ever want them or need them um, and then at the end I just made like a little pocket um, to keep my stickers in this was just a couple of bits of card it was actually a piece from the October kit um, but some other card that I was sent which I just sewed around the edge so stuff wouldn't fall out and just put in all the spare stickers and stuff um, and I'm just going to move that from month to month um, but that is my September flip through for the month I did also have a mini dory and a B6 dory but I just didn't use them this month because I had gone for this disbanding system which worked much better for me um, but that's everything for September so I hope you liked it uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see more of uh, my next video will be the plan with me with October um, like and share thank you goodbye